Hey guys, so I am very excited today to come to you with this plan with me because um, I haven't posted a video about it yet, so hopefully I will before I get this video posted, but if not, then I'll tell you guys a little bit while I'm planning. But um, we're actually not at my home, and so we are at my mom's right now, and so I'm really excited to be able to do this plan with me so that I can, you know, hello, talk to you guys and interact with someone. And, um, yeah, so we're just going to get started and I'm really excited about this spread because I think it's going to be super pretty. So this week has been super stressful for me, um, especially after today, even more so. So today is Saturday and let me mention before we get started that I am a part of the plan with me design group and it is just a bunch of ladies that get together and we plan, we all plan very differently and different planners. And um, we just really want to be a support group and a positive group for each other to uplift each other and be there for each other. And so that is what we do. So I will have those ladies' names listed down below for you to definitely check out their channel as well. There are some amazing ladies, amazing planners, some creative minds out there um, in this group. And so I will definitely link them down below. So feel free to check them out. Now for this spread, um, because of the stressful week, I just wanted something really calming. And so I got this beautiful paper pad from Hobby Lobby, and that is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use three different papers from that. It's actually two different papers, but since it's double-sided, I'm using both sides of one of the pages. So, um, I already know how I'm going to lay them out. So let's just go ahead and get it started. And yeah. Um, if you hear Killian screaming out, he's in desperate need of a nap, so he is laying down, but he's not really wanting to very much, so he might protest for a few minutes, but he was in there talking, just being totally fine, and now he's, now that I've started videoing, of course he's going to give me some trouble, so I'm looking in here, sorry if you can hear some bags rustling, but I didn't have any glue here, so I did go and pick some up. And now I don't know where it is. Here it is. So I went and grabbed some glue. So we're kind of between homes right now. Um, so what happened is on Monday, maintenance was called to the apartment above us because they smelled a burning smell and their hot water heater was not working. Now, according to them, maintenance flipped a switch, this is quote unquote what they said, and turned, um, got their hot water heater to work again. And when it started doing that, um, it started a fire. And that fire caused our pipes to heat up and our pipe burst. So the water heater in our apartment busted all over our things. So it caused our apartment to flood into ankle deep water all throughout our apartment and a lot of our stuff was completely ruined um our renter's insurance will not cover it for whatever reason i've been told that this happens to some people i've been told it's ridiculous it should never happen i've been told a lot of different things but we have battled and battled and battled with them and our renter's insurance will not cover it because they say that it did not start initially in our apartment and that either maintenance from our apartment complex should be held reliable held liable or the renter's insurance from upstairs will be held liable so we have gotten nowhere with any of it nobody wants to be held liable nobody wants to take care of our damages to our things which we've tallied up to about twenty three hundred dollars worth of damages to our property and nobody wants to do that well sad part is we were just y'all know we were about to move in about two two weeks and all of our stuff a lot of it had been packed in boxes and you guys know if you've ever seen cardboard wet it doesn't do very well so that just swelled up and everything in the box got soaked so it was it's just not a pretty situation on top of that the apartment complex um they treated me terribly um, and on top of that um, they would not allow us to go inside of our apartment until they got dehumidifiers in there and then got the dehumidifiers out they didn't want us in there while all of that equipment was there they tore up our carpet and had fans in there so we had nowhere to go for we've been staying here since monday and it's saturday so you know and
and the smell, because they didn't even get dehumidifiers in there for 48 hours, the smell of our apartment and all of our things in it, oh boy, I can't even describe to you how bad the smell was. So it's been a really rough week for us. <laughs> it's always a rough week when you are kind of up in the air and you don't know what's going on. And then to be in another household when you're used to being in your own and all your stuff is just kind of everywhere and... It's just, it's not been a fun time. Let's just say that. It's been very stressful and just very hard, hard time. So then Joshua and I decided that since they were taking so much time to get the dehumidifier in there and then out of there, because they were just promising me that it would be done and then the next day it wouldn't be done. Promising me it would be, it was just over and over. So we decided to get our things out of there because... They were just continuing to deteriorate, and it was just getting worse and worse. We were losing more and more property. We had to throw all of our mattresses away because of the moisture in the air made them sour and stink really bad. Um, we had to throw our sheets away, pillows, things like that, couch pillows, rugs, you know, all kind of different things had to be thrown out. And so, um, you know, it's just been rough, and so we moved. And he doesn't get a day off work because this is the last week of the month. So we had to move in the middle of the night and we moved all night long until 5.30 in the morning. And then he got up at 7.30 and went to work. I mean, it's just been a rough week. So on top of all of that that's going on, <laughs> as if that isn't enough, today I went out because I, I felt like the kids, you know, kids know what's going on. They know something's off. And even though they think it's fun to stay at Nani and Papa's house, they still know something's just not right. And so because of that, um, you know, they've been stressed as well. This is not their normal routine. It's not something they're used to doing. And they've been stressed out. So um, we went to the Dollar Tree and Tristan asked if we could go there. I said, sure, why not? So we went there. He got some Play-Doh and things to play with here at Nani's house. Nani is my mom. That's who he calls my mom. And so he got some things to play with here. And um, there was a man that was... And I'm probably going to do a separate video on this. So if you don't want to hear it twice, you don't have to watch that one. But I feel like people need to be made aware. And not everybody is going to watch a Plan With Me video. So I want to, to make, you know, push awareness about this subject. So before I start telling you, here's the washi I've picked out. I'm super excited. This is a beautiful spread. I think it's going to be turn out really, really pretty. I like it so far. And I'm sorry I'm just talking about all of these things that are not very positive at all. But I just, I, I've been through a lot and been through a lot today. So I just feel like I, I just want to share it. <laughs> um, and it's calming me down to tell the story. So, um, and Killian's still not asleep. He's just fighting it. Um, so we were at the Dollar Tree, we were down an aisle, and, um, there was a man who was following us, um, he was a Caucasian male in his late 30s or early 40s, and he, um, he was coming down our aisle and I noticed he came down the aisle like a second time and he was talking to Tristan and Killian and I had Killian in the cart and Tristan was standing right beside the cart and I was looking at the makeup and he talked to the boys and talked about how cute they were and I have a lot of helpers and I must be so lucky and blah 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 and at first I just thought he was being polite so I was like okay and I smiled and said, thank you, you know. And then he came down the aisle a second time, and I was like, okay. And he was touching Tristan on the arm and, like, ruffling his hair. And I don't like that. Like, don't have physical contact with my kids if I don't know you. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but that's just how I feel because you just never know. And there's crazy people out there, and you just don't ever know. And I just don't like people touching my kids. So he did, and he was ruffling Tristan's hair, and I was like, okay, this is getting weird. Like, I don't like this. And so I felt uneasy. I got an uneasy feeling, which as a mom, you guys know, like, it's a natural instinct for a mother to, you know, feel 
when something's wrong, especially dealing with her kids. And that's what I felt. I just felt this horrible, uneasy feeling. <clears throat> and I'm sorry my voice is crazy, but I've been crying a lot today. So um, I, um, I felt very uneasy about it. And I um, pulled Tristan after he kept touching him. I pulled Tristan close to me so that Tristan was in the middle of me and the, and the merchandise. And that the buggy was blocking us. And so I was touching Killian with my body against the buggy. And then I was holding Tristan up against me in the aisle of merchandise. So that the man could not get to him anymore. So then the man came back to our aisle a second time. I mean a third time. And when he came back the third time, he um, he uh, was like, oh, here's what I'm looking for. And reached across the buggy, across Killian to chapstick, Carmex chapstick of all things, which I thought was really odd. Cause why would you go down any other aisle if you were looking for Carmex? I don't, I just didn't understand. So I already thought that was odd. So like my red flags are already, you know, sirens are going off in my head. So I, um, I was like, oh, okay. So I moved out of the way and um, Killian is just giving it to us up there. He's just letting it be known he's mad. Um, so I moved out of his way and we moved, I moved the buggy out of the way. So it was out of his reach and I got out of his way and, um, he got his Carmex or whatever. And then he walked off. Well, when he walked off, he walked up to the front, to the window and motioned for someone to come inside. And two women came in with him as well. And when the two women came in, I didn't see where they went. And we went down the candy aisle to get, Tristan wanted some candy, so we went down the candy aisle. And then um, I went to the register to pay. When I went to the register to pay, um, they got in line behind me. So the two women and the man got in line behind me. And when they did that, that and they um only had the carmex that's all they had is that one item and the whole thing just felt very off so i was like okay so i already felt like something was just not right and i was feeling very uncomfortable and um so i pulled Tristan close to me and they were trying to talk to Tristan and they were like, how old are you? And he was like four. And they were like, how old is your brother? And he was like one. And he was like, Oh, and the man said to the woman, he's one. And she said, yeah, but he's about to enter in his terrible twos. And so I just felt like, I just felt like a horrible feeling in my stomach. And, um, they, collected between all three of them they collected money out of their pockets and they um they gathered money out of their pockets and the woman said one of the women said hey do you like money and tristan was like yes ma'am and she said here you can have this and um, I'll give you a whole bunch of money and you can buy something with it, okay? And Tristan was like, okay. And I was like, I looked at them a certain way and they were like, oh, is that fine? I was like, yeah, it's fine. Say thank you, Tristan. And he put it in his pocket. Um, and my parents might be here, so if we get an interruption, I'll just pause and then try to leave off, try to pick up where I left off. And <clears throat> But then, um, what was I even saying? I don't even remember now. But um, then Tristan um, was talking to them, you know, because Tristan's very friendly. And if you get him talking, he'll, he'll continue to talk. And so she was talking to him and asking him all these questions. 
and I just kept feeling like worse and worse and worse. Like it was just not right. And so then she, um, she asked him, um, she kept trying to get him to come towards her and like touching his arm. And so I pulled him. I was like, come here, Tristan, come over here and just stay with me. And I pulled him over and I, um, and I think I'm going to use this because I don't have my strips with me. Now Kaylin is really screaming. So I pulled him close to me and I told him that, um, to stay close to me and, um, I put him inside of the cart so that they couldn't reach him anymore. And um, when I went out of the, um, you know, when I was getting out of line because I was done, of course they were done too at like the same time as me because they only had the one item. <laughs> then they started following us and I was like, oh, you know what, Tristan, we forgot something. And he was like, what did we forget? And I was like, you'll see. Come on, we forgot something. And then they walked out, and we walked back to the back of the store. When, when they walked out, I went to the window, and I watched them. And they stood at the corner of the building and waited for us to come out. So I didn't come out. <laughs> so I sat there and stayed. And I didn't come out until um, they were gone. And when they finally left and went to their car, I watched them, but it was too far away for me to see what vehicle they got in because they got in a car that was about four aisles down from the store. And um, I couldn't tell if they left or what happened. So I waited about five more minutes after I saw them going towards the vehicle. And I went outside. I kept my kids in the cart and I did not go to the car because I didn't want them to be watching me and find out what car we were driving. I walked right next door to a sandwich shop and that's where we sat down and ate. And then I called the police. The police came and um, they got their descriptions and he agreed with me that he felt that that was exactly what they were trying to do. Is still my kids. <laughs> And um, he went into, he escorted us to her vehicle. And then he um, went into all the surrounding stores to see if he found them that matched that description and um, made sure that they weren't doing it to someone else. That was the most terrifying experience. And I've still, I've been crying off and on all day because, and I'm not a crier at all. But to think that people are that sick and that horrible that they would try to take a child is horrible to me. Um, and not only that, but to think what would have happened if I would not have had that bad feeling, that intuition from the very beginning to know that something was wrong, to know that something was off, and to take those precautions. You know, they were three of them. I'm a small framed woman and there are three of them. The man was fairly large and if it was, you know, a parking lot where I feel like they could have gotten the advantage if they wanted to and that is terrifying. Um, so, yeah, um, it's a very horrible thing and I'm going to go check on Killian. I'll be right back. Okay, he's just trying to fight his nap. He's okay. I just wanted to make sure he was all right. Cause sometimes he gets his legs stuck in the bar of the crib and he can't, it's stuck in there because he's trying to get out. So I was making sure he was okay, but he's just fussing because he doesn't want a nap and he desperately, desperately needs to take a nap. He's very ill. He didn't sleep well last night. It's been, I think it's been a little bit difficult for him to sleep because it's so different, but Anyway, that is the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my entire life. The feeling of panic. I can't describe it to you. The feeling that I am so terrified and I have to get away from these people and I don't exactly know what to do. I mean, I didn't want to cause a huge scene because, you know, I didn't want to scare my children. I didn't want to scare them. I wanted to keep calm for them, but at the same time we had to find 
what to do to get the heck out of there. So I just did what I could to get away from them and I hid and I watched them until I felt like I could get away safely and we went and hid inside of the restaurant. That way the kids didn't know anything was going on because we were just getting something to eat and I could sit there and let them be calm and eat while I called the police and everything would be okay. But it was terrifying and I cannot imagine if I was not paying attention or I hadn't have been thinking about it or what if I wasn't such a paranoid person <laughs> and so protective, I would not have even realized what was going on and they could have taken them. They could have taken him from me and that is so scary. And I just want to say this and talk about this because I, I just, not so I can get your pity or, you know, for you to feel sorry that it happened to me, but that it doesn't happen to someone else. And please tell you that if you have small kids, please, 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 if they're your grandkids, if they're your kids and you have them out, please pay close attention because there are more and more accounts all over the country of people doing this at Walmart and grocery stores and even the Dollar Tree where they are just crazy and, you know, people don't care. They will do whatever they can to take whatever they want and kidnap your kid and they don't, it doesn't bother them a bit and it's a very scary but very real thing that is happening all over the place, um, all over the world. You know, but it's come to our country as well, and it's a very scary thing. So just please, please, please do not let your child out of your sight. Don't let him out of the buggy. You know, from now on, Tristan's riding in the buggy. If the buggy is too small, then heck, I don't know, I'll hold him or not go by myself. But, you know, that's what it's come to because that was so terrifying. I can't even, I don't even know if I'll be able to leave the house for a little bit because it was so scary. I mean, my whole body was shaking for hours because I just couldn't handle what had happened. It was so bad. So just please, please pay close attention to everything that's going on. Just be aware of your surroundings and, you know, make sure you're watching who's around you because people are crazy and there are horrible people out there. It's really hard to imagine that someone could be so horrible, but they are. And so, yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to try to stop talking about that because it's horrible and, um, yeah, so we're going to try to talk about something else, but I'm going to use a little bit of a mix of stickers for this week and I want to start and go ahead and put my weekend sticker. I don't think I know where my tweezers are, unfortunately. All my stuff, you guys, is just kind of everywhere. It's really awful, actually to be honest, especially being such a control freak. It's actually quite terrible, but okay, hold on, baby. I'll fix it for you. Okay. He wants me to fix his Charlie Brown movie. I have it playing on my computer and I imagine he's pressed a button and now I can't get it back on. And poor little Killian is just angry. He is so mad right now. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but he is mad. He so desperately needs to take a nap. He is so tired. So very tired. And he is fighting it. But if I go get him now, he's just going to be more ill. And then he's going to have to start all over again. And I have to put him down again. That's not fair. Okay. Hold on, baby. I'm going to fix it for you. Hold on. So, this week is really going to be about moving because hopefully Wednesday we are getting the keys to our new home and we can, we are free to move in. I'm doing a video. So, uh oh, dropped it. So this week is going to be about moving and there's still a couple of things in the other apartment that I need to go do and try to, I don't know. I mean, honestly, you guys, there's not any cleaning over there. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really bad. 
So I don't really know all that I'm going to be able to go and do. But I do need to clean as much as possible because I don't leave a mess. I don't believe that that is okay. Even after they've treated us, which hopefully I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about that later. But even after all they've done, I still would not leave a mess. That's just not right. And I'm not going to do this, that. So that's not who I am. So I'm not going to mistreat someone else even if they don't know how to treat someone else. So definitely need to go and clean that up. So that's kind of what this week is about. And then moving and getting unpacked. Before I kill him, I think I'm going to have to calm him down. I'm hoping that he's okay and doesn't really sense what's been going on. You know what I mean? Um, kids are smart. A lot smarter than we think. They realize a lot more than we think they do. So, but most of it is he is very stubborn, very, very stubborn, and he doesn't want to go to sleep. He does this to where he just pitches fit, and then he'll go to sleep and wake up in so good of a mood. It will be worth it, but it's getting in there. Nobody likes to hear their kid cry, but poor baby. I'm probably going to have to go get him and calm him down and try to see if I can get him to go to sleep for me a little bit better than this. So I think I'm going to do that because he's not calming down at all. Okay, um, let me see, what else do I need to do? I kind of think I want this sticker to be there. I can take this one off. Okay. So mad. He is so mad. He stopped crying for a minute and now he's going to start again. I think he needs to gain some momentum back up. Usually he's been a little bit easier lately to go to sleep. This is usually, this is how he used to be where he would cry a lot more for a lot longer and then he got a lot better at it and now it's kind of hit or miss. So I was looking to see if I could find, aha, yay, have my tweezers. So I threw all of the planner stuff that I could find in my, um, <laughs> in boxes and brought them so that I could actually post the videos. Okay, so I think that Da, 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 da. I think we're gonna go see a movie. I need. Let's see what I need. I need some. Not those. Let's see. I need these. Just when you think he's gone to sleep, he starts yelling again. I'm trying really hard to sleep train him, and I hate it. And this is what his doctor has told me that I'm going to have to do. And he's gotten so much better, but sometimes he goes back to being horrible about it. And his doctor told me, you're going to have to be stronger than that, Mom. It's frustrating. I'm like, you don't, you're not the one who has to hear him crying, and you hate it. But, anyway, I really like how this is turning out. I think it's really pretty. It does make me feel calm, for sure. It's very calming for me to do this. It makes me feel a lot better about everything. 
It's just a stress reliever for me. Okay, I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm also going to put it here because I can fit three dinners here and then three dinners here and we eat out on this night. So, um, so that will be fine. Then I'm going to put this sticker here since I'm going to move this because I like that there. And so I'm going to put that down. And then I'm also going to use these here. Poor baby, so mad. I'm going to put these here for my Bible studies for the week. Probably do two different topics, so I'll put that there. And then, let's see. have my church sticker. And this is not a doctor's appointment, but it's a dentist appointment. And I have a dentist sticker, but... And that's not really on the back burner. That's just the sticker that I had, so I'll probably change that. Something else, because I don't want that to say back burner. <laughs> it's funny. So I'll probably put this here and put this here. And then, let's see, this is the, um, this is the, let's fix this, third, second, first, thirty first. So, this is payday, and I kind of wanted, um, you know, I had some other sticker for that. And I kind of wanted it instead. <laughs> he was y'all. He was so quiet for a long time, and then it's like he just realized what was going on and started crying again. Oh boy, that child. What am I gonna do with him? And I don't like. I like those laundry baskets, but they don't go with what I need. The color is not right. I think I'm gonna do this one anyways. So this is going to be a date night, date night, movie night, and we're going to go to dinner as well. So there's that, and I'm going to need to go grocery shopping, so I'm going to put that the day after moving day. Which I'm probably gonna have to move this. Doctor's appointment. Wait, first, second. I don't think it's on this day actually. I think it was on this day. So I wish I would put that first, but that's okay. And then on this one, I'm gonna put happy day because we're moving. Finally, moving day is here. Then I'll put grocery shopping there. I do want to use some hydrate stickers. And I don't use these every day. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is what you're supposed to have for the day. So usually I just don't use one of the drops. I put an eight in it, and then I cross off each one if I've had my eight glasses. And then if I have it, I put down which days that I didn't do it. So I'll know what I need to work on because I'm trying to drink more. So I'm going to use a coffee sticker here and I'm also going to use a coffee sticker here because I'm going to need some. Going to need some after that move. For sure. For sure. And I think I'm going to use some of these. Because I don't like these empty dots very much. So I think I'm going to use these on top of there. Okay. 
kind of plan that out. And these because I can just check those off. Okay, now I need to pick which pin I want, so I think I want to use this one and we'll kind of see what goes happens with this. I think that is all the stickers I need. I think that's going to be it. I'm trying to look and make sure. I do need a laundry sticker, but I don't really have one that matches, but I'm going to put it here because I'm going to have to wash clothes as soon as we get there. And I think that's it. Okay. Alright, so I have this stuff. And this is moving day. And <clears throat> So this, let's see, where did those go? Can you just see this right here? So this night right here. This night we'll probably have pizza because that will be Wednesday night while we're moving. And me and their dad will probably just order a pizza while we're in the middle of moving because we actually had to move everything we had into a storage unit and then we'll move from the storage unit. Yeah, it's been a mess, you guys. So that's what I'm going to put there. And I'm kind of going to, um, I'm just going to put unpack on Saturday because that's what I'm going to be working on for days. And then I have... I can find where I put them. I have my little numbers. Now, don't make fun because you are going to laugh at me, but I'm going to have to use some letters for my numbers. But the reason why is because I really love these and I think they'll be pretty even though it's not exactly right. So, use that as my three. So this is the 31st. Okay. This is the first. This is the second. And I know it's a letter. I know. It's, I run out of twos really fast. And this time I actually ran out of enough threes. So. But. Really, you can make it work because you can see that that really does look a lot like a two. All right, so two, three. See, they don't look much different once you clip them a little bit. Four, five, and six. That's pretty. Okay. And so that's going to be it, you guys. This is how it turned out. And I am going to write some more things down as I go through the week. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.